guys what is up welcome back to my reviews today we have the keys to the chrome satin blue bmw m4 with a carbon fiber front hood it is gonna be fun By the way guys, if you guys aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go now and hit the subscribe button, hit that bell to get notified when I upload new content, and also comment below which car in this video is your favorite, supercar, BMW, or even Mercedes. Now guys, unfortunately we are not going to drive this car today for one of two reasons. Um, first reason, I'm stupid and I'll probably crash it. Second reason, it's snowy outside, the roads are slippery, and we don't want to risk the car getting damaged, so I don't want to risk the car getting damaged, at least it's a lot of money, so we're not going to drive it today, but maybe we'll get a cold start and rev on it. So guys, let's talk a little bit about this M4. So it's a 2016, it's wrapped in a satin chrome blue. Look at this color, guys. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. So guys, let's just start with the fact. Full carbon fiber front hood. Full carbon fiber, real, not wrapped. It's a full exposed carbon fiber front hood. Look at that. That's awesome. Guys, in addition to that super cool wrap, look at this. You get lime green calipers. Lime green in the front. Okay, and this is the best part come over to the back here guys and they're orange two different sets of colors for the calipers and that's on both sides and this car is fast enough as it is but it's even got more mods onto it so guys with this car you actually get a three liter twin turbo six cylinder engine it produces around 425 horsepower and it is crazy i mean look at this thing guys you have this massive piece of carbon fiber right here across the front i will admit no one else does it like bmw their engine bays look amazing Guys, like I said, it's got a beautiful satin chrome blue wrap across the entire car. And yes, I am wearing my BMW sweatshirt to match the BMW car, guys. But this thing's beautiful. So it's the M4 Coupe. The M4 comes in sedan and coupe. But this is the coupe style, guys. And it just looks so good. Guys, now let's open the door to this awesome M4. Look at these seats, guys. They are beautifully bolstered. They got the M4 badge embedded into them. They are awesome and they really hug you so let's just carefully whoa, get in here oh my gosh guys i don't know if i fit in here very well like it's not extremely comfortable for me to move the seat back real quick let me just almost 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 remember guys i'm 6'3 yeah guys this i would not fit in this car i'm gonna be real honest with you oh there we go okay i might fit in here i might guys this car will also rev up to about 5500 RPMs, which is really good for an M4. I've seen other cars can go higher. I mean, it's not like it's an LFA. It's going to rev to 9,000. Come on. Now, guys, the M4 actually does have active air vents. So it's got one on both sides, and it even has the little M4 badging on it, just so you know that it's an M4. But do they really do a lot? I mean, they're like this big. My hand is bigger than the air vent, guys. Take a look at that for a second. Here's my hand. There's the air vent. My full hand can cover the air vent. So I don't really know if it does that much. Guys, like I said, this BMW satin chrome M4 does have a little bit added onto it. Look right there. Those aren't regular wheels, guys. No. Borsteiner. Those are good rims, guys. If you guys didn't know, Borsteiner makes some of the best rims on the market, in my opinion. A lot of guys use them. Daily Driven Exotics love Borsteiners. I believe they just put Borsteiners on their brand new McLaren 720S GTR. Now, guys, the original color of this car was actually gray, which confuses me because... I mean, most people don't like gray. I actually like gray. I think gray and orange works well. But if you open up the door right here, you can see this was the original color of the door. Right there, guys. That was the original color. That was that. So from this is the new one to that old color. Bam. Bam. What would it look better? Because it has orange and lime green calipers. So what matches that color? Gray or sad chrome blue? Now here's what I want to know, guys. Would you rather take this blue chrome M4, satin chrome, or would you take, let me run over, oh, I'm slow, I'm slow, this white M5, guys. Which one would you take? Comment below. Guys, just when you thought BMW couldn't get any weirder, to open the trunk, you actually have to grab this, pull it once, then pull it again, then pull it again. You have to pull it like three times for it to fully open. You can't just pull it once like a normal car, now you have to pull it three times. My gosh, BMW, why do you do this to us? 
guys, and not only did this car look fantastic, it sounds fantastic. Take a listen to this amazing car. This is probably the weirdest part. When I was actually pulling this car out onto this like little showroom part, I was gonna try and put it in park, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna put it in park and pull the eat on pull the park brake up, right? No, there's no park on the gear shift, you guys. Take a look at this for a second, alright? So obviously you have reverse, you have neutral, you have drive and sport, but there's no park. They don't put park on the option as a thing. So you have to keep it in neutral, then you have to pull up the park brake, then you have to turn off the car once, hit the start button, then hit it again, and then the car fully turns off. I I don't know what BMW was thinking, not putting a park point on the automatic transmission. It really, it doesn't make sense to me. Boys, do we need an M4? Or do we need an AMG, an Audi R8, or the other Audi R8? I mean, make the choice for me, because honestly, I would take this car in a heartbeat, but do I take it over an i8 or an R8? Do, do we need an M4? I think we do. Guys, huge thanks again to Samjit Luxury. You guys remember, they're down linked below in the description. They have an amazing assortment of cars. They have such a cool collection that's all for sale, including this M4, and yes, it's under $50,000. I believe the sticker price is $47,000. Guys, for a modded M4 with Vorsteiner rims, with great calipers, all kinds of carbon fiber, and a satin chrome blue wrap, could you ask for anything better? That is a fantastic price. So that, this BMW is also linked down in the description below, so check that out too. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. As always, have a great week, have fun, stay safe, rev it up, and I'll see you later.